Hey, this is Eric with RegFox. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the check-in app. The check-in app is available for Android and iOS. It is a fast and easy way to check in all of your registrants on site. So this demo, I'm gonna show you the check-in app, how it works, how to synchronize all the data to it. I also will show you a backup manual way where you can use the web interface that you see here in order to check in registrants individually as well. So I'm inside my page builder and I also have up here handy, I have Michael Scott's registration, I have Dwight Schrute, and I have Toby Flenderson all up here on my tabs here. And I'm gonna show you how to scan in their QR codes and check them in. I'm gonna show you how to manually search and look up people as well. And I'll also show you how you can make on the fly changes and updates to people's registration from the check-in app as well. Super exciting and super awesome. So the check-in app is available, again, in Android and iOS form. So download it from the app stores. And then when you download it, you will see that there is going to be an ask for an app key. And I'm gonna walk you through how to create that app key, but I just want you to understand briefly that the reason we do an app key, which is a series of numbers, is it keeps you from having to share your email and password with people who are not you. And so we are proponents of security. We want it to be easy to get into the check-in app without having to share sensitive passwords and compromising accounts. So the app key allows you to share one number with anybody you want who can then start using the check-in app on their device. So let's walk you through how to create an app key and how to use the check-in app. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go over to the on-site tab, go down to check-in app, and here we are. It is going to invite us to a welcome screen to create an app key. And if you don't have the app, you can click this and text it to yourself if you want. That'll give you links for both Android and Apple. But we're gonna create an app key. And again, an app key is gonna be a generated number that you can insert into the app that will load all your registrant data to. We're gonna first give it a name, called Eric Test. I'm going to, on this one, allow editing from the app. So you can have multiple app keys with different permissions. So if you want just admins to be able to modify registrations from the app, you might create one app key with certain permissions and certain details. And for others, you might turn this off and limit the information that's, that's seen. But for this demo, I'm gonna leave this on. And then I'm going to choose from the list of available data fields here to choose which goes into the check-in app. So on the right-hand side here, we have what the app will show, and on the left-hand side, it is what is available. So let's say we want to capture name and title, and in here, you can rearrange these if you want. So name, title, email, let's go ahead and put phone number, let's do their meal choice, let's also do some sessions, and maybe that's it. But you can see you have a whole bunch of other details in here you can add to build into the check-in app view. So what you see in the app when you check someone in is determined by what is pushed into this right side here. And we can go create. Now this gives me a QR code that I can scan directly from the app, or I also can paste in this number into the app itself. I also can text anybody I want this app key so they can load the check-in data into their own device themselves. So I'm going to open up the app here, and then I'm going to choose the scan key. It's gonna open up the camera, I'm gonna scan the QR code here, and with that, all of my attendee data is all saved locally now on this device. And I can scan attendees in, I can run reports, I can look up people, I can do manual check-in, I can do everything from this device now. So on the top here, we can see a summer. We have 28 total registrants, six of them are checked in and 22 remaining. So this is a great tool to be able to see the progress of who is checked in and who's not. And you can see a breakdown between all registrants and the different registration options. So I could go to the corporate registration side here. I can say who's checked in and I can see a whole list of people who are not checked in. So the ports are really nice to be able to gauge who is remaining, who's coming, and you can use those tools to do manual check-in if you want but the primary way you are going to do check-in is use the scan icon here. And when I tap the scan button, it's gonna open up the camera. So let me just go up here and I'm gonna pull up a few confirmation codes. So I'm gonna tap the scan button, it's gonna open up the camera and I can scan here and there's Michael Scott and I can check in Michael Scott if I want, I can review all of his details, everything looks good and I'm going to check him in and now Michael is checked in. 
Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's go over to Dwight. Dwight walks up. I can tap the scan icon on the bottom, scan the QR code. We're going to check him in there as well. And now he's checked in. Let's do one more. Let's go over here to Toby Flinderson. We're going to tap the scan, use that. And there Toby is in. And it might be hard to tell from the screen, but the scanner is super fast. So you're not going to be waiting around trying to hope that it loads and find the information. So really helpful. So here we're looking at Toby Flinderson's record. Now let's say that he gets there and we want to make a modification. Well, we can go up to the top and hit edit. And I can do a couple things. I can check him out if I want, or I also can edit him. So hitting edit is going to now load his registration in here. And now I can see exactly what he is registered for. I can change his sessions. So if I want to remove him, I can move him to a different session. I also can make modifications and upgrade his registration as well. So I could upgrade him to the corporate registration straight from here. And then I also can save and charge his card on file. So it's a fantastic way to manage changes on site and it's nice and easy. And we'll go back here. And I also can mark him as attended for these other sessions as well. So I can go into the session here, inspiring your subordinates with Dwight Schrute, and I can check him in for that. Going back to the home, I'm gonna tap home here. We see our checked in numbers have been updated. I can do a manual search. So if I tap the glass here, I can search for somebody. And let's go ahead and look for Holly. There's Holly, I can go to her, I can review her registration, and then check in. And notice that I also can see the linked registrants. So anybody that's in a group order will also be associated with them here. I'm gonna check Holly in, and there we go. So that is the basics of how to do direct check-in from the check-in app. Let me show you a couple additional screens here. I'm gonna go over to the gear here. We can see a few different options here but one is gonna be a self check-in mode. And self check-in mode is going to allow people to, and self check-in mode is going to allow people to walk up to an iPad, for example, and do their own check-in. So we're gonna set a password for this. And that is going to convert the check-in app now to a self-service app. And I'm on an iPhone here, but this might be better on an iPad for demonstrations. But I'm gonna choose begin self check-in. And so now, Imagine this being the iPad app. People can walk in, they can scan their QR code. So I can scan and they can scan the registration. There's me and we can check in. That's good. We can go back to the home and you also can look yourself up. So we'll go to look up here and it says, find yourself by using the email you signed up with. So let's go and search for me and search. And again, I've been testing this a lot. So you can see I'm in here three times, but you can choose there and I can now self check myself in. And that's how you do it. So to exit self check in mode, we just re enter the password again and we'll turn off self check in and now I'm back out. There's also an offline mode here in case that you are having severe internet challenges where the app will work entirely offline. Now you wouldn't be able to do edits and charge cars because you would need internet connection to do that. But if you are concerned about the reliability of internet, after you enter the app key, all the registrant data will be saved here and will work totally offline and you can check people in offline entirely. So there we go. So that is the check-in app. Again, works on all iOS and all Android devices, a fantastic tool here. Now let me show you the web interface in case you want to do some manual check-in using the web. So we're gonna go back here to our page and we're gonna go out of here back into our overall dashboard. Now we have our Epic Conference right here and if I click the link here, this will show the 28 registrants associated with this page. So clicking this will give me the roster and I can pre-filter this roster down. I could search for me and this is gonna show anybody with my last name. So going over here, I can go and hit view on this record. And here is my registration summary from the past one. And you notice over here, I can check myself in. So I can do that. I also can check myself out as well. So the entire web-based interface also is enabling you to do manual check-in as well if you want to do it that way. Again, you also can come from the top registrations link up here and you can search for anybody on here as well. So nice, fast, easy search, view their records, check them in 
and you're good. Well, that's about it for the check-in app and the check-in process. Hopefully this has been helpful for you to understand how to use a check-in app, how on-site check-in works, and how to make modifications on the fly. And hopefully you see it is really easy to use, very powerful and nice and easy for yourself and volunteers to use if you need. Well, that's it for this demo. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch some of our other videos of some of the on-site experiences, especially our mobile pay pass feature, which allows people to use their QR code to make purchases on site. It's also a great feature here in the RegFox platform. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next demo.